Fellow auto detailers, welcome to the show that features interviews with today's most successful auto detailers. This is the Auto Detailing Podcast. Here's your host, Jimbo Balaam. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to this episode of the Daily Detail Tip. I'm Jimbo, and honestly, I struggled for a long time to decide if I actually wanted to give this tip or if I didn't because it's it took me so, so long for it to happen. In fact, it's taken my whole career to make it happen and just more recently really dialed in to where it never happens ever, ever again. And there's really no reason for me to elude you this long because the title of the episode is exactly what I want to talk about. And it's how I got clients to stop negotiating my price and to finally just either make the decision to go with my services or not go with my services. But what they stopped doing was negotiating my price. And so it's a very, very big issue in the detailing industry that people always feel the need and the desire to negotiate the price. And I know this because one, I dealt with it personally, the other detailers in my life that I know deal with it as well. The detailers on the Facebook forums and everywhere else talk about it. You know, price, 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 price. How do I set my price? How do I get customers to not negotiate my price? And it really is a bad thing that happens because we feel discredited, we feel like are devalued, and it's a real big issue. And I finally cracked the code on how to get customers to stop trying to weasel me down on my price. How I got customers to finally stop negotiating my price. And really the question never even ever gets brought up ever, ever. And so, yes, there's things that go into this that are, 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 well, let me just get right into it. So basically what it all boils down to is being professional, right? I know, and that sounds very simple, of course, be professional, but being professional goes way beyond how you look and how you present yourself on the internet or even how you present yourself when you show up to the client's house. In fact, it is the whole entire package. It is how you answer your phone what it what your voicemail message says how you quote the client and that's what i really want to focus on because it's part of it that i really don't see a lot of detailers focus on a lot of people focus on what their web presence looks like what their their customer facing Instagram looks like, what their Facebook page looks like, what their Google ad looks like, um, what their their phone message says, what their uniforms look like, right? What their van looks like, what their detail shop looks like. And all those things are a, par- are a part of the greater overall package. And obviously, this daily detail tip is going to go much longer than one minute. However, there's one and I've, I've had all that dialed in. I've had the Sprinter van. I've had the uniforms. I've had the three-button polos. I've had the great voicemail message. I've had all that and still gotten customers to negotiate or try to try to lower my price for their detail services until recently when I started to integrate the House Call Pro app. And I know this is going to sound like one big, giant uh, ad. And, and in a way, you're right, it is. But when you feel so passionate about something, you do want to shout from the rooftops and tell everyone about it. So that's why I talk a lot about the detail in our inner circle. That's why I've been talking a lot about about House Call Pro because this one feature within the House Call Pro app, and by the way, to help combat it not seeming like an ad, I'm actually going to give you a free way to do it. And so... um, hang around for that and I'll give you a a way to do it for free that you can do it or really, really cheap. Um, And so I'm going to shoot myself in the foot for the greater good of you. uh, If you do not want for whatever reason, all the massive benefits that house call pro can offer you, especially if you go to housecallpro.com slash ADP, that's where you're going to get a free demo in your first month for only 19 bucks. However, when I started properly presenting estimates, and I know it's taken me four and a half minutes to get into this, but properly presenting estimates to my clients has eradicated the need for them to negotiate my price any lower or any differently than the price itself is. And so what do I mean? A customer calls, now this works if you're mobile or fixed, a customer calls and wants a quote for a detail. And I've talked a lot about 
that in the past where I don't quote details without seeing the car, whether that's through pictures or, you know, in person, right? So how it used to go is they would send me pictures or I'd check it out in person and then you kind of rattle off a number, right? Let's call it 200 bucks. You rattle off the number and immediately the client goes, well, can you do it for 160? Can you do it for 175? Can you do it for 150? Can you do it for 180? Oh man, 200 seems a little much, right? And what I figured out is that giving them the estimate verbally does not work if you want to actually get that price for the car. What you need to do is deliver that estimate on paper. And so what I like is in the House Call Pro app, it has the pre, you can preset your detail packages and everything that that detail package offers. And then at the end, it gives the number and you can change that number according to the car, right? So, and of course you can have this all in the customer files so that you never forget. That's another downside to giving verbal quotes is that you forget what you quoted them. They may forget what you quoted them. You don't have anything in writing. You don't have a proper estimate form, none of that. And so it can become really unprofessional. And so you could have all these other things really laid out and and looking professional. And then the estimation part of your business looks very unprofessional, which makes the, the customer feel like it's unprofessional and kind of off the cuff and whatever. You know, if you just throw out a number of 200 bucks, they think you literally just made it up out of thin air. And that's why they feel the need to negotiate. Think about when you go to the swap meet or the the flea market or anywhere else where people, you know, you ask, oh, how much is this item? And the person just rattles it off, right? You you automatically want to negotiate with them. But when you go to the grocery store and the price is set in stone right there, you never negotiate at the grocery store. You never negotiate at the um at the restaurant, right? Because the price is the price. At a restaurant is a great example. The price is the price and you know exactly what you're getting for that price. You're gonna get two sides and a main entree with a drink and with a dessert or whatever. That's why I like to go to Lucille's. You can get the two for meal, you get the dessert, the appetizer, boom, boom, boom. It's all laid out for you and you know exactly how much you're gonna price uh, pay. So the same is happening in your detailing business. So the House Call Pro app makes it extremely easy to create these estimates which lays out every single detail of every single service that you can offer with a price you can email it over to the client which is how i do it so i tell them okay send me the pictures basically from the client let me get all the information from you let me look it all over and what i will do is i will send you over an estimate back of how much it's going to cost it looks extremely professional extremely professional and if you use the House Call Pro app, it's all saved nice and neat in the customer file. The pictures that they sent you, you could save. You can tag that customer. So ceramic coating, VIP, reoccurring, black Mazda, black Mercedes, red Mercedes, red Honda. You can you can tag it all the way down. So if you ever want to market to those customers later and you want to target to people with black Mercedes, boom, they're already grouped together. But that's a whole nother podcast for a whole nother day. What we're talking about is estimating and making the estimated estimating process a lot more fluid. Now, if you want to do it for free or really cheap, you can do it in QuickBooks, right? You can create a new customer, you can type out your service, and you can either email them over a quote or an estimate. Um, and that is the free version or the very, very cheap version. I think QuickBooks works out to be like two bucks a month, right? 14 bucks. I think it's 14 bucks a month. Uh, sorry, two bucks a month, 14 bucks a month. Um, I was thinking a year. Or if you use TurboTax, you can actually get QuickBooks for free for the whole year. So that's how you could do it for free. The problem is, is that it's not as streamlined and it doesn't look as professional and the quotes don't come over as professional. And you also don't have the option for the customer to approve the quote through the email with a signature like you do through the House Call Pro app. I've gone way too long. That's how, though, I'm very passionate about it. As you can see, I've gone about 10 minutes talking about it. That's how you can get customers to stop negotiating your price. It's worked for me. I guarantee it'll work for you. Housecallpro.com slash ADP or just sign up for QuickBooks and do it for free or really any other invoicing app out there. Uh, I know there's a lot of inexpensive, cheap invoicing apps. I want to give you multiple options to make this not just seem like a rambling ad. Uh, 
that it is. But there's invoicing apps that you can get. The point is stop giving verbal estimates. Stop giving verbal estimates. Get all the information you're going to need from the client and then only then deliver them with a quote written down in paper so that you could track it. Your customer can kind of digest it, talk it over with their significant other if they need to do that. But I guarantee you, if you start doing that, they will stop negotiating your price. Implement it today. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the things and tell me how this tip has helped you. And I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.